We have, if you don't own any though, well then we have a lottery system. So you pay $15 to the state of Louisiana, you get your name put in the hat, you might get lucky and get some cash money. Um, I tried like two years ago to get some, I didn't get any, but I missed the deadline for this past year. I'll try again next year though, why not? So, um, now if you get something to the state, you don't get a lot. There's 56 people they'll hand tags out to. And if you get something, you get two or three a piece. It's just put meat in your freezer. It's really them just allowing the public to go hunt out. That's all they're doing. And once you get them, you're good to go. You start hunting them. How they're going to do it is they'll take a line, they tie it up to a tree. They just hang the bait up in a tree branch, or they'll take a cane pole and they shove it out in the mud on the an name. Now you want to put your bait up high. Alligators can jump two thirds of their body out of the water. The problem with alligator hunting, if you catch one that's two foot or ten foot, it does not matter. You have to take it. Once they take that bait, the hook does get stuck in their throat and their stomach, and eventually will kill the alligator. There's no catching reason. So they hang their bait up, which is chicken. That sits out in the sun for like two or three days, sometimes even a week, getting nice and ripe and stinky. Yeah. After we all touch it, it smells so bad, you know. And then they'll leave. Now, when you come back, if your line's in the water, you know you got one. That's pretty much the only thing's going to take it. So they go there and they pull up on the line. The alligator comes straight up to the top of the water. No fuss, no fight. They don't know what's going on. A little sweet spot though, that's right behind their head. They shoot them with a 22 or a higher caliber gun, puts them out instantly, they drive them in the boat. 